Hi guys, this is Monica and in this video I am going to be sharing with you my fifth year Retin-A update. So if you're curious about Retin-A and what my path and my journey has been like, stay tuned. So much for joining me this video is a collaboration and it is a collaboration with natalie the beauty diva many of you probably know natalie so i'm not going to go into a, a huge long intro into her because she's been on youtube for quite a while she is one of those youtubers that is just super supportive of so many different content creators and she is so engaging with all of her subscribers. She's a wonderful, wonderful lady. If by any chance you don't know her, make sure you check the description box below where I will have her channel and her Retin-A video posted and linked. So Natalie, I think she's 20 years of Retin-A use and I'm five. So I will have to truthfully tell you that my Retin-A journey the pathway was paved for me by ladies like Natalie and Mary Ellen and Melissa 55. So Mary Ellen after 60, Melissa 55 and Natalie the Beauty Diva were the first three women that I started to watch on YouTube when it came to Retin-A. And I've gotten to know these ladies. They are wonderful, wonderful ladies. They are a wealth of knowledge. I'm going to make sure I link all of their channels. But Natalie in particular has really been super helpful with me in my Retin-A journey. And we have collaborated. I'm not too sure if this is the third time that we've done a Retin-A collaboration video, meaning she's done an update. I know we did. I did one like six months, I think a year. And Natalie, you know, would join me on that. After a while, your skin is going to get probably as good as it can get if you've been using retin-a and you've been using skincare there's going to be a point where you're not going to see those the rapid improvements it's going to be sort of more of a very slow subtle pathway that you're going to walk so for me that's that's really where i'm at and natalie at 20 years you look at her skin she probably looks 20 years younger than she is without a doubt. I mean, she's, I believe, in her mid-50s, and she probably looks like she's in her mid-30s, if that. Her skin is absolutely beautiful, and so, so is Melissa 55 and Mary Ellen after 60. These women have inspired me. Both Melissa and Mary Ellen are in their 60s, so very close to my age, if not the exact same age, and they've all inspired me. So my Retin-A journey, I'm going to link the playlist that I have for Retin-A so that you can see and some of my earlier videos. I do have to tell you, it's right now I'm going through a transition phase where I, I've gained weight over COVID. I've had a number of things that have gone on in my life that have happened that have impacted basically my weight and my health. So when I look at when I started Retin-A and I go, wow, you know, I look so much younger today. People will tell me that all the time. There is also that factor of the fact that I'm fatter, <laughs> I'm heavier. So, you know, my skin looks plumper. But I don't think that's it. Wrinkles. My, my wrinkles are, they're so much less visible, noticeable than they ever were basically. So I believe that the Retin-A has helped diminish my wrinkles. It has helped improve my skin texture. I firmly, firmly believe in daily collagen. I take a collagen powder and I drink that every morning. So two tablespoons twice a day since 2016 when I started this whole journey. And the same thing with Retin-A. The first six months of my Retin-A use, I went through the uglies like you wouldn't believe. My skin would flake, it would peel, it would get awful. I would do all sorts of different things, exfoliation. I would do everything I could to minimize that because I had to go to work. And who wants to go to work with your skin peeling off? After about a year, it did kind of settle down and I got into a routine 
where I, you know, increased my, my percentages of Retin-A, what I was using, and how often I was applying it. And I just kept going at a very steady pace. And I would see the differences in my skin because I saw them day to day. I could see myself in the mirror and I could see the, the changes that were happening. And so could my husband and so could other people that were really close to me. So Retin-A is my ride or die. I mean, it is my holy grail. It is, I will never give up Retin-A. And so I say that Retin-A is not affordable. It is not something that is in general in the States, in my neck of the woods, affordable for people. So I've found and have been very happy with a way to purchase my Retin-A that has made it very affordable for me. So currently I'm almost out of my Retin-A and I'm waiting for my shipment to come in. If it wasn't for that, I don't, I don't know, I would have been a much tougher struggle financially, but I would have found a way to make it happen because that's how much I believe in Retin-A for me. And I know there are some people that can't use Retin-A and there's some great alternatives in the market that you can get serums that have retinol in it that produce results. They just may not produce results as rapidly or as, as good as, say, the, the, the holy grail of, of Retin-A itself, of tretinoin. So I, I definitely, I buy mine overseas. I have a special checking account set up because the money comes out of my checking account. So I've always protected myself in case there was any kind of hacking. I've never had an issue. I've never had an issue. And I have been buying my Retin-A for almost five years now this way. When I first bought my Retin-A, I bought it from a Canadian pharmacy. It was still a bit more money, but it was a lot less than what I was paying for it here in the States. And then I discovered Liable RX where I'm buying it now and where I've been buying it for almost five years. A tube of Retin-A costs me US dollars. You see, I'm almost out. It's like, but a tube of Retin-A, US dollars for me would be under $7 plus shipping. It makes a big difference. It really does. So what I do is I use the 0.1% Retin-A Tretinoin, and I do that probably three times a week. And I also use the Hydroquinone. This has got the Tretinoin mixture in it. I buy both of these from an overseas pharmacy for very, very, um, very affordable. And I alternate. Now I'm very careful because I've been going through a bout of dry eye. And even though the my eye doctor doesn't think it's got anything to do with it. You have to do your own research. And there are some people that have said, yes, that it can affect it. So I really don't know. So I've eased off of my Retin-A as far as how high I was applying it. And I was applying it to at my brow bone, you know, right, real, right underneath my eyebrow. And I believe that has really helped with my eye wrinkles, with my deeper wrinkles. So I've kind of eased off on that but I'm still suffering from dry eye. So I have seen no change in my easing off a little bit on the tretinoin near my eye. But typically right now, I'm at three times a week, maybe four times a week. I, I concentrate on below here instead of going up high. And I make sure I do my forehead. I have some pretty deep lines in my forehead starting. And so I'm like looking at them. And my lines on my foreheads and my 11s get really bad when I'm squinting. And when my dry eye is really bad, I can't look at lights. So I squint all the time. And even though I wear a frowny, when you're heavily squinting, that's not going to help. So I've been really concentrating on my forehead. And I'm just going to talk tretinoin use here in the video. I'm not going to talk about some of the other tools that I've been doing that I think help contribute to it. But with the tretinoin and then going to three to maybe four times a week, I haven't really noticed any major change in my skin. It's hard for me right now. Now, if I would lose the 20 pounds I've gained or 25 pounds I've gained, let's be honest, if I were to lose that, which is my goal, I'm sure my face would look a little sunken. I'm sure that I might have more hollows and crevices, etc. However, the texture of my skin is it's plumper because I believe that's the collagen and the turnover of my skin. So the actual my actual skin tone itself or the feeling of my skin, it, it feels more flush. It feels more plump to me. And I'm not just talking fat. I'm just talking 
that's visually the way it looks and I do think that is a huge part of the the retin-a in the collagen so to me that goes hands in hand so five year update I, I think I, I'm feeling good I'm looking good I'm 68 or I'll be 68 on Valentine's Day so I feel pretty darn good for 68 and I think a huge part of that is retin-a without a doubt it, it's made a, a big impact on me and I wouldn't give it up. So I'm so happy that I can find it affordable. And I'm so happy that people like Natalie have helped pave the way so that I could learn. So when I got the uglies, I didn't like totally panic thinking my face was falling off. And I was prepared, you know, like my mother used to say, and she said it, it was a German phrase that she said, you have to, I don't know how to translate it correctly, but it, it kind of meant that you have to go through you know, anything worth having is going to have some pain along the way, right? Anything worth having. And it's the same thing with skin care. So the pain or the uglies of the retin-A peels are so worth having because what's underneath, especially when you get into a really good skin care routine and you exfoliate and you're using good products on your skin and you're letting your skin shine through, it's amazing to me the end results. So Retin-A has been huge and I, I can't wait for my new batch to come in because and this is my little Retin-A stash, what I have in here. I did try this, the A313. Everyone was talking about this. I gave it a good try. I never really noticed anything. It's other, it, it didn't impact me at all. And I know this was all the rage quite a while ago. I still use my retinol, although not quite as much. And this is the Olay eyes. I'm just really careful with this eye because it's only this eye that I have the dry eye. This eye, I'm good to go. And this eye is actually the worst looking eye because this is my driver's side. So I'm still using, I'm still using this. No matter what you do, Retin-A, Retinol, whether you, you get it free from your, your pharmacy, your, your, you know, your prescription or whatever, however you get it, and whatever you use, none of it is going to make a, any difference at all if you don't protect your skin. So I, I can't talk about Retin-A without talking about sunblock because you can do more damage on your skin using Retin-A going out in the sun without protection. So a good solid sunblock, sun protection is crucial for your Retin-A, crucial. So if you aren't into sunblock, if you're, you, you don't do that, think twice about your Retin-A. So protect your skin, clean your skin, Protect it wonderfully with sunblock, whatever you're using for Retin-A, make sure you protect your skin and whatever routine you're on, consistency is key. You know, so some people think I need to have instant gratification. If I don't see change tomorrow morning, I'm not going to keep up and do it. I'm just going to, you know, it's a waste of money. Retin-A doesn't work that way. It's going to be a good long time of consistent use before you even notice anything. If, if it might even be a year. It, it might. But if you keep at it, if you keep at it, you're consistent and you protect your skin, you will see those differences. And then someday when you're my age or older, you can look back. You can be like Melissa 55. She's been on Retin-A for, I don't know, 20, 20 years as well, right? Or longer, I think, since her 20s. And Natalie, look at her skin, and Mary Ellen, look at their skin. These are women that have used these products for a long time. And I'm sure any one of them would tell you, no overnight gratification. But there's a lot of gratification if you continue to use it, if you're consistent. So I'm going to link a playlist here, my Retin-A playlist. My early Retin-A videos are, I get the most views on my Retin-A videos. Sometimes I'll wake up in the morning and I'll have like a thousand you know, my, my analytics will show I have a thousand views overnight and I'm like, oh, well, where are they? Well, they're on a Retin-A video. That, that's where, the, where, you know, what's being found. So I'm going to link my playlist and for Retin-A so you can see what it was like five years ago if you're interested and what it is like today. I'm much calmer about it. I'm much um, more consistent about it. I love my results. Yes, my face is fuller. I've gained weight. I get that. But that aside... 
the results are there. The results are there. And I would not go without my Retin-A. And I'm so thankful that there's an affordable alternative for me to get it because here a small tube of Retin-A would cost me you know, about $285, right? My insurance wouldn't cover it. But I can get the same size tube. In some cases, by a manufacturer like Johnson & Johnson, I can get it overseas for under $10 plus shipping usually. It's, it's like amazingly affordable. So I'm really curious to see Natalie's update. I think she's probably gonna talk about consistency as well because that is the biggest thing. Hang in there, don't give up. Don't let the uglies chase you and protect your skin. Protect your skin. Without that, you're not gonna have any results. So five years of Retin-A, oh my gosh. I feel better today than I felt five years ago when I started this journey. And I, I overall, I think I look better. My attitude is better and uh, I'm so pumped for 2022, I'm so pumped, yeah. So Retin-A, five years, check out Natalie's. I believe she's 20 years. And yeah, amazing, amazing, amazing. So is that my beauty secret? Is that the secret for staying younger, longer? I think, I think Retin-A does, um, does contribute to that. But Retin-A alone is not the answer. There's gonna be other things you're gonna have to do. Sunblock, and for me, collagen. Those have to go hand in hand with my Retin-A. So anyways, thank you so much for watching, and um, if you're here just for Retin-A, uh, I'll be doing an update again next year, <laughs> I think. But uh, I did update my skincare routine. I will link those as well. But uh, Retin-A is it. Yeah, that's the, uh, it's the holy grail. That's the secret. That and sunblock and collagen. And maybe a few other things. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.